Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Northeastern University's Varsity Overwatch. Playing in the ESC Conference, sponsored by Xfinity and Army ROTC. Thank you for our generous presenters. We got a game here between the 3 and 0 Huskies and the 1 and 1 Akron Zips. Akron has won one game 3-0 and lost another 0-3 for a 3-3 three three map score through two weeks. They also had a bye. Northeastern, 3-0, has not dropped a map yet. Is looking to continue a hot pace. They are leading several statistical categories all over. And they're looking to continue some hot play from the beginning of the season, but that is an early pick for Akron as they get timid right off the bat. Some trades here. They're better trades for Akron so far. You definitely do not want to be losing your Sigma. It is very hard to play Overwatch 2 without a tank. And losing a tank is much more meaningful now that each team only has one of them. Seeing a very different style approach to this map. Akron going for the Rush comp with a Reinhardt and a Lucio to move him around real quickly. Northeastern going for more of a traditional poke, something a little more of the Overwatch 2 times. But if you run the Rush stuff from Overwatch 1 well, as we've seen even up at the pro levels, it is very difficult to beat. And that is what Akron is doing so far to the Huskies. Let's see if they're able to regroup. Probably look to hopefully get a kill onto one of Akron's players before they leave this high ground. It is a big advantage in any shooter to have the high ground because it limits the angles that your opponent can see you at. Well, even you in relative safe, well, you can shoot heads, which in most games, including Overwatch, deals more damage if you hit your opponent's head. There's a great angle here by Woe. Not quite able to get that Lucio, but. Got him rather low. Forces the beat. Akron's gonna have extra health here for a while. Some trades here going the way of the Huskies, it looks like so far. Frisco able to get two. Looks like Northeastern's gonna be able to flip this point with 74% of capture progress going towards Akron. Northeastern will need to play nearly perfect from here on out on this map to be able to take this round of the best of three control. The good news is it is much harder to retake than it is to defend. Akron coming still on that same rush comp. They just want to get this Reinhardt, the big character with a giant shield and hammer, into the opponent as fast as possible and let him swing that hammer away. Northeastern is able to shoot with their sojourn and their soldier come on blizzard doing us dirty like that giving two characters basically the same name but are able to shoot from some range and burn the shield and burn the tank before he's able to get any damage done 44 percent here already for the huskies one more fight win for the huskies they'll be even it'll be anybody's game got some really good ults here on board four in, but a great job by Frisco there to use his shield, angle it into the ground, specifically to block the Reinhardt ultimate. Hedwig gets a clean up there. They play with the Kiriko for a second to stagger the kill a little bit. And just like that, Northeastern is right back in this game. They will be fighting with the advantage, and they will be looking to make this the last fight of the game if they're able to win it. No ultimates for either team. UG Hop will likely be the first one on the board with his ultimate ability up. And then he can use that to help his teammates build theirs as well. There's the ultimate from QG Hop. Pixel Bar falls. Pixel Star falls, excuse me. And all of Akron falls with it. Not on my watch. A very tough first hold by the Zips. But once they seeded progress onto the point, Northeastern never gave it back. We'll have to see if Akron goes with something different here on the second point. The other two points on 
Nepal are not quite as friendly to the Reinhardt comp. You can certainly still run it. We've seen teams at every level always just love to run the Reinhardt rush stuff. It looks like at this point that Akron may just be a Reinhardt rush team. We'll see if they have anything else in the toolbox. That is a, a big change going over to the Roadhog and Reaper. Uh, Roadhog has been a very, very strong character for a few months, but just the other week got some significant nerfs to his abilities. And uh, other than going for some cheeky hooks that result in environmental kills, I'm not quite certain why you would run this character right now, but maybe Akron's got a plan. We'll have to see. Both teams want to fight on this high ground that looks over the point. Classic Overwatch strategy, control that side there. Very close to Max getting caught out there. Hedwig just burns down Tosmino. I think that is going to uh, be happening with some frequency as long as uh, they continue to play that Roadhog. Frisco chasing the Mercy into the corner. Mercy's very good at concentrating deals onto one target. With some recent changes has become even better at keeping people from dying and uh the game is becoming more and more focused about you got to kill the mercy before doing anything else in a lot of compositions good rock there we do see akron switch over to the sigma that roadhog was a fun idea it could have gotten a, a easy fight win for the zips if they were able to get a hook off but it just didn't work out and northeastern is just gonna run over they took the excellent angle fighting from both sides. Always hard to defend two angles. And uh, anytime they went to defend one angle, they got shot in the back from the other. Northeastern here with 40%. Significant advantage on ultimate abilities. It's going to be hard for the Ash of Akron to get much value here. There's not a lot of sight lines until you move much closer to point. And it looks like it's Northeastern's idea to play this one tight and close with these ultimates they've got online. Hedwig takes off that Mercy's head. Frisco. Just another dominant fight win from the Huskies. Only pulling one of their five ultimates they have ready as soon as Hedwig does a little bit more damage. It's going to be very difficult for Akron to get anything of much done here. Uh, they do have a Bob, Ash's ultimate ability, that can contest the point and cause a little bit of mayhem in the back. But that's if the Ash can ever get close enough to the point to put Bob on it. And it looks like Frisco is dedicated himself to make sure that does not happen. Frisco running all the way towards the enemy spawn. Even if he's killed here, he will have done his job, which is to keep the opponent off of the point as Northeastern takes the second map 100 to zero. 2 0 win here on Nepal for the Huskies. Other than some good rush play to start things off from Akron, we didn't see much life from the Zips in here in this first map. Northeastern, after breaking the initial hold, was able to. 200 know their opponent. We'll see if Akron has any adjustments to make. And we'll keep tune on how this Beanpot game is going as well as we head into a short little break.
Welcome back from our short little break. We're moving on to map two here, which is going to be King's Row. King's Row is a classic Overwatch map. It was in the game when the game came out. It's one of every team's favorite to scrim. Some teams hate it because every other team likes to scrim it. But it has been in forever. It is fundamental to learning how to play Overwatch as a team is learning the strategies on this map so it'll be fun to see two teams that have practiced this map an awful lot go at it again we're seeing some stylistic differences northeastern looking to again be poking with that sigma and uh a junk rat. and we're seeing akron does in fact just really like this reinhardt rush look they did have some success on it so maybe it'll work out for them. Here they're gonna look to take this high ground away from Northeastern. They know they can't necessarily move on to the point that Northeastern having the presence they do. The Sigma shooting down from the top, the Junkrat lob lobbing in grenades. That was a great idea there from Akron, but unfortunately Timbit and Hedwig just hit all their shots as the Reinhardt tries to jump across. And it's gonna result in nothing much for the Zips. Frisco waving hello to his competitor, showing some okay. good spirit there. This is going to be very difficult for the Zips to push. We'll see if they try to just push Woe here on the Junkrat, make him use his mines as mobility to not die. He is really the only target they can even get to at this moment. They can't really access this high ground. We are going to see Frisco drop, but with Timid and Hedwig still shooting from up top, it's going to be very hard for Akron to have any much point control here. And we see, again, a wave of red falling in the kill feed. And as that is another team kill for the Huskies. Huskies looking great here. They've started off very strong. They continue to work on things week to week so they're only getting stronger here's a fun change from the zips they're bringing out the symmetra maybe try to teleport to this high ground where hedwig and timid and frisco have been uh absolutely annihilating them from we'll see if the sims able to get the tp up and enough of their team up there with them for it to make a difference it looks like possibly very good tire there very good absorption of the aggressiveness thing. Just, you want to come to this high ground with the teleporter? Great. We'll let you, we'll back up, we'll kite, just shooting while you walk away, and we'll just absorb the aggression, and then as soon as we see enough of your abilities come out, we'll turn it right back on you. That is just very good fundamental overwatch from Northeastern. We're facing here with four of their five ultimate abilities. Akron's looking for a little bit of a different approach here. They're going to try to go under. They're going to lose Jet very early. And Woe's going to be able to lob in some damage here from the side, certainly. Got a bunch of ults coming out from both teams. Tim is still holding on to his. If Northeastern gets into a lot of trouble like that, he's able to pop it and really turn the fight just with his saved transcendence. And Northeastern's getting another fight win. That was a good look there from Akron. Weren't quite able to finish it, but they were able to get into a much better position of the map to take that fight. They hadn't have lost to Jet so early. They might have been able to actually do some damage there. I think they've done a good job adjusting here. We'll have to see if they've got any last minute adjustments. This will likely be the last fight, unless they are able to win it. Or at least half win it. Jet's got his visor here. He can do some good damage there. He's going to have to watch out. He can't really peek with his visor, so it's kind of a wasted ultimate because that window is going to do so much damage on him if he does not peek. Hedwig takes off Max's head. And that will be all she wrote for Akron here on King's Row. Maybe they'll be able to get one last touch, but it's going to be very difficult. No, that will in fact be all she wrote here for the attack on King's Row for Akron. Northeastern will just need to get 33% progress on the point to go up 2-0 in the best of five series. There are some fun things you can do on this map with a sim in a May. 
would have been interesting to see if that came out for Akron. Might be time to see Frisco work on some ball here on attack. There's a lot of things these teams could do in the situation now of it's full hold or nothing for the Zips. Looks like Northeastern's gonna, for the most part, play this straight up. Hedwig is gonna play a little bit of Widowmaker here. Definitely a point that you can do that. Doing some nice, I believe, plies. I don't know. I'm not caught up on my ballet. Seeing some interesting stuff here. We got three Omnics, an Australian and an Egyptian lady for the Zips. Uh, Ramatra is very good right now, and Bastion uh, can certainly surprise a team. So this may end up working for the Zips here. Uh, the Ana can build her, her Nano, Nano, almost any of the targets. Zenyatta's got a much better ultimate ability than Baptiste for this uh, all or nothing kind of setup. I like a lot of the changes I'm seeing for the Zips. We'll have to see if they work. Hedwig's able to cut Max down. That's a lot of damage that the Zips are losing now. And it looks like this one's just gonna go the way of Northeast. Just some really dominant Overwatch tonight from the Huskies. Awesome to see them continue to grow continue to add new heroes into the rotation, continue to add new players into the rotation. We may see some additional players even get a chance to play tonight, depending on how the situation goes. We got one more map at least coming up. Maybe more than that if Akron can turn things around. We'll leave for a short break in between maps.
Welcome back, everybody. Here we are under Rialto. We are seeing a change here for the Huskies. Squee is coming in for Frisco. Squee is going to be on one of his best characters, one of his ones he is the most known for, the Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball has recently become somewhat meta again. And um, it'll be interesting to see how this integrates in. It'll be definitely fun uh, to see some... Uh, wrecking ball tracer dives executed very well and uh here we are up 2-0 in the series it's looking like northeastern women's hockey's up 2-0 in their game as well could be a very good night for the huskies all around pixel star here trying to get a five orb headshot on the woe wouldn't need to hit all five of them but he's gonna shoot all five for good measure timid out of the support position able to finish the kill onto the bastion Lee's just swinging in and out, getting damage, swinging out, healing up, over and over again. You know, one of those resources you don't talk about a lot in shooting games. You'll talk about health pool, you'll talk about ammunition and a clip before you have to reload, you'll talk about ability usage, what have you. One of those resources you don't focus on a lot is attention. And when a character is being played like a wrecking ball, it takes up a lot of that resource. You have to always be wondering where he is, where he's going, where he might be next. It definitely messes with the team. It uh, makes you always be looking both ways, which you should be doing anyways. But sometimes when you see all five of your enemies, you can relax and focus on your aim. Great stick there by Woe. Really going to pause some of this aggression. Akron looked like they were about to make a big push there but they can't do so without their main tank. Sklee gets the squish onto the Widow. It's always fun to get a pile driver kill. Good to see you. Hello. That's some tech I don't know, Sklee, and uh, maybe you shouldn't either. Yikes. Happens to the best of us, though. Wrecking Ball's a crazy character. Whoa, awesome here on the flank. Max trying to chase the Tracer who falls to the Venom Mine. Mercury's just still in a good position here. Lee, even with his swim, is very fast, very good at his rollouts. Gets back right back in the fight, takes out the Widowmaker. Timid on a five player kill streak. Love to see a bloodthirsty support. And we're going to see some woe onto the Widow. Got a match Widow for Widow. The honorable Sniper 1v1. We've got double trances here. Both teams are going to be able to essentially end a, an aggressive push from the enemy. As long as there's any is alive. There we see Pixel Star pull it. Tasmino is getting rather low. Jet gets a headshot onto Hedwig. And went on to Gucci Hop. Woe's able to counter, but falls to the Bastion ult. Now Squee has a lot of hit points here. And still a timid on a pocket. So this is far from over. If timid falls, that's worst case scenario. But Hedwig's back. And they were never able to do that much damage to Squee through the Timid Pocket, so Northeastern's are going to be able to hold on here and stabilize. Very close there from Hedwig. Very difficult to push into uh, Zenyatta and Bastion combo if you get Discord Orb and Turret formed. Hard to stay alive more than a few seconds if you're lucky. They've switched over the Akron Zips over to a, a Winston. Winston will do a good job of getting on to QG Hop here. Maybe forcing some pressure on the Zenyatta. But not so much pressure that QG Hop felt the need of pulling of his transcendence. ESG element. Last one to fall. Trying to hide up top. Maybe get a last second touch on the point. Asleep. Stall things out. But it doesn't work out. And Akron falls here just shy of capturing the first point northeastern will need to get 89.42 meters to make this another 3-0 series 
for the Huskies to go 4-0 ESC play. Scenic gondola here on Rialto. You really should be like rowing or something. Come on, Blizzard. That would be way cooler. All right. We're going to get some Doomfist here from the Huskies, potentially. That would be definitely uh, unique, something we might not see many other times throughout the year. Unless Doomfist gets some buffs, which I would be a fan of. Doomfist is a fun interactive character. Now that he's a tank, at least. Genji from WoW. Looks like Northeastern's flexing onto some fun picks here. Knowing they're probably gonna wrap things up. They'll still play this seriously. They'll still take this seriously. This is still a very viable strategy. But Northeastern also knows they don't necessarily always have to be practicing what is the meta meta at that moment. It's good to keep your hero pool active with all the other characters as well. Big punch there from Squee. Already 26% to his ultimate. Getting close to that 30 number now. Big punch again. Punching the DPS over and over. So far, Northeastern's not able to really get much out of the punches. Lee and Woe will have to coordinate a little better on the timing of their engages in order to make advantage of that. Hedwig and Timid, though, just going to go from range over the top as soon as that Winston bubble is broken. Here we see Tazmino again trying to force down Timid. All about diving that Zen when you're on the monkey. Much harder dive target ever since they gave him the kick that can kick back wicked far. But still a good dive target. Hedwig going for some ground Widowmaker. The bronze special. Jump shot just misses. Northeastern looking to build some ultimates here. They'll likely go through one ultimate cycle and if that does not end the game they may end up switching onto something a little more meta to secure the win but this could be big here we got a bull in a china shop of supports good job so far from the supports of akron not just falling to that pressure immediately it's just going to be too much though very hard to keep that many Northeastern players off of you as a support for that long. Glee is going to fall here, but that will end things. Another 3-0 win for the Huskies. They improved 12-0 map score in ESC. 4-0 record. They can look to continue this dominance next week. Where we'll definitely be streaming again. If it's lucky enough to be me, I'll, I'll be happy to join you guys, but we may also have some new additions soon. We're going to jump to a short break and might have something after the break.
by Xfinity and Army ROTC. We saw another 3-0 win from the Husky Varsity Overwatch team, and we're joined here by Max or Frisco in the game. Frisco, how's it, how's it feel to be 4-0? Hey, you know, I mean, every day we just come into this league. We do, we do. Feels good. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, we saw a very different stylistic approach on most of the maps with uh, Akron going with the rush and you guys doing more of the, the Sigma poke sort of stuff. What's the what's the hardest thing as a tank when you got a Reinhardt running at you? Uh, probably just choosing with the kite, you know. Like, it's easy to just stand there and get walked on and say, oh, I didn't get healed. But, you know, with Timid on the team here, he's very good at letting me know when I have to run away. So it takes most of the responsibility out of my hands, but still got to get that done. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do, you, do you have a preference when it comes to uh, when you're playing tank? Would you rather it be a mirror or would you rather you have some differences that you can take advantage of? I mean, the way our team plays, we're very like about finding that little angle we can slip into to win. And when it's a mirror, that's kind of hard to find because it's more yep. just head on head combat. So I think I actually like it better when they're tank something else. Awesome. And we saw Sklee come in to, for that third map. Uh, how's the the wrecking ball lessons going? I mean, he's just a master, you know. I feel like he could teach you much he wants, but I'm just never going to be quite at his level. But they're going well. You know, I'm learning. Awesome. Well, it seems like the whole team's learning. You guys started strong. You're just getting stronger. Uh, we we'll look forward to watching you guys again next week. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us, Max, and thanks for joining us, viewers. We will see you guys next week for some more Overwatch action.